Hello, in this video, let's discuss third question of today's contest. You are given an integer nums and an integer k. You may repeatedly choose any contagious subarray whose sum is divisible by k and delete it. After each deletion, the remaining elements close the gap. Return the minimum possible sum of the nums after performing any number of such deletions. Constraints are n is up to 1 5 and the values are up to 1 6 and k is also up to 1 5. So remove any number of subarrays with some k and after removing uh, the remaining elements close the gap. So in this way we can do any number of operations and return the minimum sum of the elements possible after the operations. For example, this is the given array and the k is 3. So we can remove subarrays whose sum is divisible by 3. So you can remove this first 1 4 1 and then we can remove 3 or we can remove combined remove these both. The finally answer is 5 because this is the list that can be achieved. So it will be easy if we don't have overlapping subarrays divisible by k. So then we can simply start from an index and we can try to go to the index where the sum is divisible and then we can remove that and so on. But even then it may be complicated but but now it is not the case because even now we can have overlapping also. So it is not like that even though we have overlapping even if we remove some dynamic subarrays the sum will be added to before. So there are many things to consider. So the first thing is for example we are at index i and if we are at index i then we have to think about the subarrays with some modular k ending at this subarray right ending with this index. So if we are at index i then we have to know the indices which are left to it or right to it so that the sum in the middle is mo mod k is 0 so that we can remove that. But at every index we cannot go through every before index and find the sum if the sum is divisible by k it will be unsecure so we cannot do that. So how can we simplify this? The main thing is the sum here. For example, we have the sum till here is 3 and k is 2. So when there is a possibility that if for example this sum is also x and then what is this sum? It will be 3 minus x. Right? So we are at index i. Let's assume this is the index j. In which of the following cases 3 minus x modulo 2 is 0? It will be 0 when x is equal to 1. So y x is equal to 1. So this is 3. If this is 1, then this is 2. So this is divisible by 2. So the main thing is modulo here. So modulo 1, modulo 2 is 1 and 3 modulo 2 is also 1. So indirectly these both are same modulo. So this is 0. So some mod k is 0. So this is what we exactly require it. So instead of directly dealing with values, we can take some modulo k at every index and for example some modulo k till this is 3 and some modulo k till this is also 3 then it means that the sum modulo k is 0 which means that it is divisible by k. So at every index if we just try to store the indices with sum mod k as that value then we can get all the indices with the required index such that it can be paired to the present index possible. So and now let's assume that for i j1 j2 j3 there are three possibilities to consider and coming to first choice we have two choices here what the first one is we no need to remove the subarray ending at i because this is also possible. So this is one case where we cannot we won't remove any subarray ending at i. We will just continue to the next index. And the other thing is we can remove any of the subarray where j1 to i j2 to i and so on. Because these are the indices that are that are divisible by k. So for recursion from this we are able to understand it because we have two choices. So we can try to do one or do not make that. So by recursion, for recursion we only want one parameter which is index. So function of i represents the answer till index i. That may be to 0 to i minus 1 or maybe 0 to i. But here it is easy to think for 0 to i minus 1. So here dp of i is the least sum that can be achieved from the index 0 to i minus 1. That is the least sum that can be achieved by removing any number of subarrays or not removing any subarrays. The answer is dp of i. So from for this first case what is the transition no need to remove any separate so then what is the case for example we are at index i we want the answer from 0 to i minus 1 we already got answer for 0 to i minus i minus 1 0 to i minus 2 which is dp of i minus 1 so we already got this and now we are trying not to delete the separate if we are not deleting then what is the new sum of this it will be simply this value plus the least answer we got from before value so that the final answer is new so dp of i is minimum is dp of i minus 1 plus v of i minus 1 where we are not removing any subarray ending at i. This is the first case. And coming to second case. 
we can remove any subarray in the get indexing and how we, how can we deal with that now so we can remove j1 to i or we can remove j2 to i or j3 to i also so even now for every index we cannot go through all the indices in the map for the present sum mod k and then we cannot try to minimum of dp of j1 dp of j2 and so on because even that it will be unsqueezed so now how can we try to reduce our complexity if we only have one index then it is easy right if we only have one index with some mod k with the same value then we are sure that we will remove the subarray with this whole subarray and the answer till this will be the value it till this also because we are deleting all this so the sum till here is the sum till here also which is dp of i but there are many indices so how can we compute that it will be great if we only have one index right then the operation will be off one and then we can simply do the operation and we can get the answer in off n but we have many indices so is there a way where we can try to filter all the indices with a single value or single index if we think there is a way because for example we are at j1 right when we are coming from 0 to n minus 1 so obviously before reaching i we reached j3 we reached j2 and we reached j1 also so at j1 we already thought of subarrays ending at j1 right we already thought which is better j2 to j1 or j3 is j2 through j1 so at every index the answer is the best possible so no need to travel to back into this why because when considering j3 we thought the answer which is best for ending at j3 and at j2 we already considered this and then we got which is subarray to remove for j2 and then we got the answer for dp of j2 and even in j1 we thought about j2 to j2 or j3 which to consider to remove so even dp of j1 is the best answer possible in the whole even if there are many indices to consider there is no there is no need to travel to very back indices it is just enough that if we are at index i dp of j1 is the best ever answer possible why because we have already computed the answer for before optimally so this is the optimal index this is the optimal answer for dp of j1 also so at index i we just want the uh, we just want the leftmost index like nearest index to i such that it has same some modulo k so that dp of i is simply the dp of value dp of index where the sum mod k is equal to 0 with this same as well so in this way by dp we are sure that for at an, at an index i no need to travel to every back index because they are already computed so the answer for this will depend only on the sum of this which is simply dp of index before so in this way we will try to travel through indices and then at every index we will update the map also because it, it will be sure that we will get the best answer for the next indices so when we are traversing through the array we will just simply use some more decay and then we will update in the map there may be a previous record in the map but we are updating this because we found the highest index so that for any other index we will get the best answer possible so that is one and then we will get the index if there is in the map with that sum mod k if there is there we will minimize the dp of i with the minimum of dp of that index we found from the map and then we can simply return the answer let's check the code so we are initializing dp with n plus 1 dp of 0 is 0 because we assume that dp of i is the minimum sum that we can get from 0 to i minus 1 so dp of 0 is meaningless it is just the base case where for empty subarray the answer is 0 and now the initially sum is 0 and then we will use a map this is also like a cross check where map of 0 is 0 because if the whole sum if the whole sum of the array is divisible by k then the answer should be 0 and how it should be 0 because we are taking this and we are computing dp of that index so dp of 0 is the best answer which is 0 so if the whole subarray sum is k divisible by k we require that dp of 0 should be 0 so mp of 0 is equal to 0 and dp of 0 is also 0 and we are starting from i 1 to n and we are adding the sum and making the modulo and the first case is we are not removing any subarray ending at i so dp of i is dp of i minus 1 plus v of i minus 1 because dp of i answer for 0 to i minus 1 so we are adding i minus 1 here and then if there is occurrence of this mod in the map then take that index and min try to reduce the dp of i so dp of i is minimum of these both and finally update the map of mod also so that for every other right index we will get the best answer possible 
and finally return dp of n which is the answer for 0 to n minus 1 which is the whole array which is what we exactly so return the answer if you have any doubts comment below see you in the next video